Hey, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to lubricate the pulleys on my Titan pulley tower. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips and product reviews for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing below. All right, so the last video I published was a tutorial on how to lubricate the pulleys on the uh, Titan Fitness lap pull down that I've got. And since I did that one, I figured I would go ahead and do, make another video, but on the pulley tower. Um, all in all, it's pretty much the exact same process, I think. I have noticed that the pulleys are slightly different on this one, so I'll just take you through this and hope it's helpful. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the pulleys here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, take them off. So I went ahead and got the first pulley off and I just want to note that the key difference between the pulleys on the this machine versus the lap pull down is that there's just a there's a plastic covering right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get that plastic covering off and then try to lubricate. All right, so I was able to get one of the plastic coverings off. This is what it looks like once you take that off. Um, so I'll just show you how I was able to get it off. I just used a, a screwdriver. Um, it's a flathead screwdriver. And I was able to get it inside there and then just kind of work my way around to pull, to kind of pry it off. There we go. So I got that one off. And once you have that all out, then you're just left with uh, the exposed portion that rotates there uh, and that's that's where I'm going to want to lubricate. Alright, so before I uh, begin lubricating, I need to do a spin test to gauge the, the difference from uh, non-lubricated to lubricated. So we'll go ahead and just give it a spin here and get a better grip. So you can see that that really doesn't spin very long. All right, so I also wanted to show, uh, this is the lubricant I'm using. Um, it's a water resistant uh, silicon based lubricant uh, from WD-40. Um, and that's what I'm using on all the pulleys. All right, so I'm gonna try to lubricate right here. This is the inner portion that spins. So I want to lubricate in between that and this uh, looks like a rubber ring around. So we'll go ahead and try to do that. So I'll do that. And then I'll try to let it sp spin around a bit so that it will sink in. And actually already I can feel that that's helping for it to spin a little more smoothly. All right, then I'll go ahead and flip it over and I'll just apply the lubricant the same way to the other side. And then I'll spin it so that it gets in between just like the other side. And what I did last time was then I went back through and I lubricated each side another time. So I lubricated twice on, on each side. All right, so I went ahead and I lubricated each side twice. Now we'll do another uh, spin test here.
that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and just reattach that and work my way through the other pulleys. Some of my initial observations, um, I think definitely the pulleys on this machine versus the lap pull down are a little lesser quality. Uh, I just noticed that they didn't spin quite as well as the other machine. I think that's because the pulley itself, it's got that plastic piece on the inside and so I just don't think it, it spins quite as well. That being said, I, I did see a noticeable improvement by lubricating them, so I think despite uh, the pulleys not being quite as, as high quality, um, it still helped to lubricate them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these to use. it for the tutorial on lubricating the pulleys on the pulley tower. Let me know if you've got any questions and we'll see you next time.